Palisade, Palisade, the Rat Queen's are terrorizing Palisade. You might think your party's wild if it ends with a paddy wagon, but the Rat Queen's party ended with a time-displaced bone dragon. They managed to defeat it as the night began to fade, then regrouped at the worst bar in all of Palisade. And Draco Van Helsing tries to heal Minuto, but his powers are waning, and his efforts are futile. He shows the queens the destruction of Palisade of their time, lightning and Goblin pros and crabs return to perpetrate that crime. They slammed the chaosium into the ground, and now life evaporated all around. And the vision of the past fades as Sawyer bursts in. He gives the queen some grief and continues on his mission. But before the queens can give chase, now the portal opens. A young troll pops out and starts causing commotion. Yet another portal opens, revealing a building on fire. Braga rushes in as the flames climb higher. Inside she finds a dwarf oblivious to this heat wave. And what do you know it? But his name is Dave. Dwarf Dave and Violet tame the troll with a song. It's really quite catchy. And they all sing along. I'm a dwarf. I'm a dwarf. We love dwarves. We love dwarves. Back on Sawyer's trail, they make it to the Palisade Manor, where they find the shadowy child acting in a strange manner. It's Copen, Pros, and Krantz with a side of very use, and his demon returns, and they both let loose. Brog and Violet go for its arms, Betty grabs it with her bracers, and decent heart brings more harm. They still have to do that creature, but at what cost? Drake Van Helsing fades away, forever lost. Palisade, Palisade, just another day in Palisade. All the while Garrick has been left to his own devices, slowly but surely bringing forth a new crisis. Hannah and Braga arrive at the ritual's climax. Tentacles come down from the sky as Naragoth attacks.